Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to see why we need to use AWS Lambda functions or AWS Lambda service itself. What benefits does it offer? And broadly speaking, there are no servers to manage for you and there are no provisioning aspects of it. So that means that all that effort and time can be focused on building your business logic and making your applications better. So that is one big advantage AWS Lambda provides to you. In addition to that, you are going to pay only for what you are using. Your Lambda functions are not going to be priced on the amount of storage that you have, nor on the amount of uh, functions that you have configured. If your function is not executing, you are not going to pay anything for Lambda services. Finally, you can write Lambda in a wide variety of code. You can bring it different languages and Amazon supports a wide variety of them and constantly adding them to uh, the, some supported uh, languages. Let us go and take a deeper look into some of these benefits that is offered by AWS Lambda. When you're talking about scalability, Amazon doesn't have any servers to provision or to manage. So that means that you have a lot of leverage in scaling your Lambda functions as and when the request grows. Say if there is one request coming to your Lambda function, then Amazon is going to spin up one container for you to service that request. And if your requests are growing, say there are many requests coming in at the same time, Amazon is going to spin more and more containers and meet your demand. This way, you are not worried about scaling your application, setting up your auto scaling configuration or anything like that. The scalability part and the availability of that environment is taken care of by Amazon itself and you focus only on your application code and making your customer experiences better. And when you're talking about those many requests, we should also be concerned about the cost. Since there are no servers to provision and manage, there are no costs for idle capacity. You're not going to pay anything when your servers are idle. That means that there is no usage, no cost for you. This also means that the Lambda functions are going to be charged on the compute time that you are using. And the compute time is in 100 millisecond increments. So if your function is going to execute for say example, half a second, you will be charged for 500 milliseconds, that is five units of compute. And your requests are priced for, I mean, your Lambda functions are priced per request. If your function is getting only one request every day, then you are going to pay only for that request. If you're getting three requests, then you are going to pay for that. So the pricing is dependent on your request and the compute time that you are utilizing in your account. Finally, Amazon provides a very generous free tier benefits. You get about 1 million free requests every month. And in addition to the free requests, you get about 3 million seconds of compute time in your free tier account. I would say this is good enough to get your hands dirty and go ahead and learn Lambda functions.